dirt on this creature is insane. And I'm sure it's been sitting around for a while, collecting dust. So I hope you have some patience if you're trying this at home. And also you should be wearing safety glasses and gloves, but I'm kind of a little bit of a rule breaker. Not because I'm a jerk, I'm just impatient. Okay, today we're gonna be carving a deer skull. And um, I'm working with a very limited space. I have a four-year-old and an eight-year-old. Um, so never am fully prepared in my work area. I do have um, like a makeshift dust collection system and some basic Dremel bits. I have a Dremel 4300 and a mechanical pencil. I'll show you more a little bit later, but I wanted to get down to the nitty gritty. So I hand sand all of the stuff to get the dirt off after I wash it. Um, I know it's probably more time consuming, but uh, definitely effective. It's, it turns out to be much better work, takes a little longer. So um, especially if you have kids running in and out and, and stopping you, what you're doing, you don't want to have a lot of power tools running. So um, when I begin to carve later, I will show you more about I'm going to show you more of what I do when that gets done. Right now, I'm just taking a, uh, a rough grit sandpaper and, and a block and going over all these little nooks and crannies. I have a toothbrush, and uh, it's just like a cheapy automatic toothbrush. It makes a world of difference. Also, a lot of times, uh, the teeth are going to be really loose, so a lot of people remove the teeth. Um, these are kind of hanging on there pretty good, so I'm not going to remove them unless I absolutely need to. And you can just glue them back in or whatever later. Yeah, keep one as a souvenir, put it on a necklace. Okay, right now I'm drawing on the design. I've got the skull clean. And um, I actually just took a mandala design. I'm trying to use uh, Choctaw tribe colors and um, symbolism. And it's personal to me, but you can do whatever you want to. Uh, so far, this is what I've got. And I've been... Uh, just kind of sketching it with pencil. I'm heavy-handed, of course, and then when I go back over it with the uh, with the Dremel, it will take out some of that pencil line. Finishing up the pattern now. I'm not going to do too much um, by the way the pattern, the, the carving and the painting really what makes it. Um, I like that, you know, Italian food concept, a few ingredients, the better, fewer ingredients, the better. Same with drawing. If you add too much, it becomes lost in the, in translation. So, less is more. And I'm just doing some floral design through here. Most of this I'm not gonna catch with my drill. There we go. Almost done with that portion of it. I'll add a little bit of pat some little pattern through uh, through the sides, kind of pull it together. Not much though, I'm gonna add some uh, like dots. So I was thinking some TPs maybe. I got some TPs up here. Um, you really aren't gonna be able to see them until I add color and carve here. So we're about to go. Now it's ready to now we're ready to 
tap some marrow. Look at that, she's almost done now. Huh? Yeah, look, I'm almost done carving it. I'll go back through and get a little bit of, kind of see the light in different angles. Is it me in that? Go through and do some I, detail is, stuff is and that, we're gonna paint her. Is that me in the video? No, baby, no. Nope. We're just doing deer heads today. Between the cats and kids, got out here finally a week later to uh, start painting this. Um, I spent uh, too much time thinking about what I was gonna do with it. So this is not planned. This is just me making stuff happen. If I, if I can get the cat to go. Really? So I, I end up going with a flat, or a satin, black. I glossed the horns, um, or the, the, the horns. I glossed the antlers. And it looks fantastic. I don't want to do too much with it. I finished carving. I put some more details in there. So the fun parts, you know, the good fun parts done, but um, in the hard part. I'm going to finish it up with some moonstone. See that? Bam. Need it or put something right there. I was gonna chip off some of this rose quartz and put it right in the center. Maybe a bigger chunk, but that's, that moonstone is beautiful in the black. And I'm gonna go through, I left some parts, like negative space. I'm gonna come through and do something else, but I don't have enough, uh, I don't have the supplies I need, so I have to go get some metallic paint. I gotta sell a couple of these before I can go buy some more. So, and I didn't, I don't dip, I don't, I don't take shortcuts, I'm, I, when I think about it, when I think about this too much, when I think about what I'm creating too much, it interferes with my creative process, it makes me less effective as an artist, so, uh, to me it would feel like I'm being lazy if I dipped this, took shortcuts, so I hand painted all of this, and because I want it to be a work of art and not some assembly line piece of rubbish, you know. So I forgot to record the most of this painting. I'm not used to recording while I'm working. I don't I don't like it really. So you have to forgive me. So yeah, hand painted. I will continue to hand paint all of it. I did spray polycrylic on here because it's just something that needs done fast and even. It's, even if I spend 40 hours on this thing and, and sell it for 600, um, it's, I'm doing what I love and I, I can't complain about that. You don't talk, you don't squirm.
He's not gonna complain about the work I'm doing on him. Just happy to be here, aren't you, bud?